voices are pretty loud sometimes that are negative, but we have heard a ton of positive loud voices, and so that's what we wanted to share with you. <laughs> Thanks and good wishes to all of you who are serving in Mountain Healthcare. How did you find an entire staff of amazing people? It is the best bad experience I've had. Thank you for your care and concern. You are angels on earth, amazing care at LDS Hospital. Thank you for all of your sacrifices. Thank you for being the light when it is dark. Thank you for being true to your oath. Thank you for your devotion to your craft. You have helped me raise my children and seen our family through injuries. Thank you for working tirelessly and endlessly. You might be the best restaurant in Hebrew Valley. I don't ever want to stay in the hospital again, but if circumstances require, please load me up with a roast pork at least twice a day. <laughs> I want you to know your willingness to sacrifice so much has been an example to me and my family. I never want to go anywhere else. Absolutely fantastic facility and staff. My deepest gratitude and affection to you all. God bless us, everyone. Always be safe, be strong, and try not to get COVID. Please. <laughs> it's nice to know that we can make a difference. Knowing that there, that you are appreciated helps you show up the next day when it's hopefully a better shift. Sometimes you come home at the end of the day and wonder, am I making a difference? So it feels good to know that you are. This is when we really need to know that people are still there and that they still care. Hearing what, what we do matters means a lot to all of us. It makes you feel seen that what I do makes a difference. I was going for a run when the pandemic first started and I would make fun of people for having like thank you doctor signs in their front yard. And when I was running, I saw one and I like started crying when I was running because <laughs> it, was, it was just nice to see. It feels amazing. <laughs> Thank you. We worked hard and it's been rough. Our co-workers are like our second family. Mm -hmm. I, they're family to me just like my family at home. And I love my team so much. You don't want to cry. <laughs> there is like times that you just want to sit in a corner and cry. But <laughs> like I feel that everybody always has somebody, mm -hmm. you know, by at your back. I'm thankful for my team. I can't do it without them. Even today, we're having a short staff day, and um, we're all just, we're there for each other. And so everyone's wanting to pick up the slack where they can. It's been one of the most heartwarming experiences I've ever had, is to have the love and support of a team during a crisis. In the end, I think our why is, is our patients, it's each other and trying to remember that the work we do actually makes a difference.